to go and you needed to be there immediately. Who cares about that? But see, let me tell you what this how this world is. This world will surround you all and want you to care about the things that it cares about. They want you to feel a certain kind of way if they feel like they put a label on you. So now they're trying to take the power from the mouth of God Almighty as it pertains to who you are. You've got people walking around out here feeling bad about things that they shouldn't even feel bad about. You shouldn't even, why do you feel bad about it? The person that's shooting their mouth off to you, I guarantee you, they might have more going on that's negative than the little recordings that somebody's been standing in the shadows taking of you. I'm talking to somebody out there. You free your mind and the rest will follow. That's why people want to dumb you down. That's the reason why uh, even in this country, they don't care about who's standing on the streets on drugs. Because as long as that person is high and out of their mind, they are no threat to this system. They just live, die, and that's the end of them. Take that social security number and give it to somebody else. Take their bodies and use it for science if they don't have um, burial uh, coverage or whatever. Funeral coverage. You don't matter to this world at all. If they cannot use you, get a dollar bill out of you, utilize you to keep their system going, all I got to say is that they don't really care about us. You better wake up because there have been people that have been trying to wake people up for years. And those people are no longer here because when you know the truth, they want you gone. I know what I'm talking about. This world does not care about any of us. The only reason why a change is made is, number one, because of divine intervention and because they don't want a mass uprising. See, they don't want this system that we live under to completely fall, but it can. If everybody sit together, it can because you got to hit an enemy where it hurts, and that's in that pocketbook. I know what I'm talking about. But it would take everybody coming together collectively saying we're going to let everything crash and burn. That's how you defeat your enemy. You stop supporting him. You stop supporting her. You stop supporting them. But then the way that this system is structured around, you have to go buy food. So you have to support the grocery stores. You have to, you know, go, go to get other things. So you have to support that. You have to put your dollars there. But that's how they get you. The system is set up where we don't trade among one another. You trade among them. That's why they've got all these stupid laws erected where you can own your own land, own your own house, but you have to go get a building permit. For what? That is your property. Why do somebody need the permission of an organization that is attached to this world system to go build something on their own property? It's Ignorance is stupidity. That's what it is. A man or a woman can go into the penitentiary and get parole and pay whatever is quote unquote called their debt to society, although they don't owe society anything. The only person that they owe anything to is God. They owe God an apology. But you know how the world will brainwash people. But they can come out here. And they won't even be able to get a job. And then, if they get a job, their potential employer will go into the system and say, okay, well, you serve time in this institution. That is, what does that have to do with that employer? Oh, well, because, you know, we want to know who's employed at our company. You, you will never know who's employed at your company. Because you don't know what anybody in there has done that they did not get convicted for. Who am I talking to out there? The idiocy of this world is making me sick. You've got crooks and criminals and rapists in every workplace. It's all over the world. If you want to pick and choose a perfect human being, you better go try to hire Jesus because he's the only man that ever walked this world, walked this planet that didn't do no wrong. It's just another way for people that are connected to this system, to this matrix, to hold you down. I think people have figured out now that a lot of things and organizations as it pertains to this world are interconnected. 
you know, I spoke in one of my other conferences about all these uh, businesses that are kept open and lights are on, but they don't have no customers. Because they're not owned by who you think they're owned by. You understand? They're owned by the matrix. The matrix keeps the light bill paid. The matrix keeps product out there on the lot. Even though nothing is selling. Nothing is selling. And then at the end of the year, it's sent back, tore down, and rebuilt and to look a different way and placed back out there to go another round. That's the reason why. Can I stress? I can't stress enough as I stress in my other conference. Jesus said, love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. That stuff is not of the Father, though it is, a, it is of a necessity for us to have it, to journey through this thing we call life. That stuff is not of God. It doesn't mean owning it is going to send you to hell, but the love of it will send you to hell. If Jesus has told you not to do something and you do it, you just damned your own soul. You just damned your own life because you put your eyes on something and, and love something that God told you is not of me. That's not of me. See, the, 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 the foolishness of God, oh my gosh, see, it don't make, what God does and says don't make no sense to the world. This world's wisdom is foolishness with God, and God's wisdom is foolishness to this world. This world don't understand God, and God knows that this world makes no sense. Adam is the reason why this whole world system is erected against God, opposes God. But I'm here to tell you, God is the way. God is the truth. God is the life. God knows what he's talking about. He's God. And anybody that tries to turn you against God is of the devil. God's primary enemy is Satan, the devil. So if you've got a collective group of people out there that's trying to keep you from God, tell you that there is no God, go against the word of God, which is the Holy Bible, they are of the devil. They're devils. And the truth is not in them. Look at all the lies they've told people for years. People are in the midst of this matrix and people are telling them, oh, well, because you don't look this way, you're ugly. No, this is the standard of beauty. No, it's not. That's your opinion. That's your standard. But what did God say? Evidently, God's standard of beauty is what you see when you look in the mirror. My God, who am I talking to? And he saw that it was good. I'm talking to somebody out there today. Somebody out there today, you're going to get some self-love today for yourself. You need to go to the book of Revelation and read what Jesus looked like before you look in the mirror and condemn yourself. I'm talking to somebody out there today. See, it ain't nothing like stepping out of this matrix and leaving it behind. It ain't nothing like getting in the word of God so that, so that you can learn the truth, not only about your life, but this entire world in general. And then you will have a better understanding as to why this world is the way that it is and why you all have to slave the way that you slave at somebody else's establishment that was established before you got here. So you got to what? Play the game. You got to play the game to win the prize. In Satan's world. That's why you need the eyes of Jesus. You need the ears of Jesus. You need the wisdom of Jesus. You need the knowledge of Jesus. You need the power of Jesus. You need the authority of Jesus. Because apart from Jesus, you have no authority in this world. You can speak, but your words will be of no effect. You can go somewhere, but devils won't flee. You can make a request, but nothing won't change. You need the power of Jesus Christ to open the eyes of the blind so that people will stop supporting devils that's not supporting you. People want you to come and spend money in their establishment, but they will uh, deny your loved ones employment. They will deny your children employment, but they want your money. Well, we'll spend your money with us, but now we can't support you back. It should be an even give and take. If I help you, you help me. Hello. That could be even as it pertains to relationships. Who wants to be in a one-sided relationship? That's whack. <laughs> okay? You're supporting people that are not supporting you because they feel like you need them for something. 
They fit because you know what? The wealth is in the hand of the wicked, but the power ain't. The power.